last year at the show, the British state boat invasion started. Princess launched the highly anticipated R35 unique foiling system and the race is only heated up from there. Sunseeker just launched the 38 Hawk, also making its show debut. And Jeff, we just finished up a great test of finishing the trifecta with the Fairline F-Line 33. What a boat. Yeah, big V8s, stern drives. Uh, it was really nice to get out there this morning, about 47 knots, handled like it was on rails. And that boat's only been on the water for less than a week. And right. we've been well, that's been out back and forth a couple times already. And that's the amazing thing. I mean, they literally just splashed this boat over in London and already taking people out on sea trails. I mean, that's, that's confidence behind a product. Yeah. Uh, and for good reason. It proved it to us. Uh, a beautiful, clean wake. I mean, yeah. just matches the design so well. Mm -hmm. uh, they went with the stern drive V8s and the other two British boats went with different power options. Very different. What's funny is, you know, the, you, we always look at how similar these boats are in the 30 foot range and day boats with a emphasis on performance. But yeah, they really chose different systems. You got the, the foiling of the Princess. It's outboards on the Sunseeker. And like you said, the, the stern drives. It's interesting how they all chose different choices. Yeah, they, these guys all know each other. Mm -hmm. They work together, they use the same suppliers, but there is that, that friendly competition is driving them. That's absolutely, I'm sure we're gonna see some of these innovations trickle in throughout the lineup, which is which is very cool. Yeah, it's funny, they cut, they called the Fairline F-Line 33 an, an entry-level boat to, that, to, to the brand. And that doesn't seem right. No, it was. there's no entry-level to that boat at all. Yeah, so certainly nothing quality-wise entry-level entry about it but you know one of the things that's been interesting now that we got in a couple of these boats is that a rising tide truly lifts all ships and that you know this competition while it's fierce between the builders the goal is all the same it's getting new younger people into the brand and into the sport and at the end of the day I think I think that competition is good for everyone yeah I'm sold geek out in the water the hair in the breeze was it's quite nice this morning yeah absolutely so uh, in the spirit of competition uh, Con show's about to start. Race you to get a cappuccino? Sure, just give, oh, come on, man. You gotta give the old man a head start. <laughs> <laughs>